Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we set up the mechanical crafter and also the crushing wheel. I could totally remember both of their names. Yep, definitely didn't have to walk up to them to get their names. Nope, not at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, at the end of the last episode, I set pretty much a full chest of uh, gravel in here for this crusher to crush. And well, it certainly has. I have been busy in between episodes. And well, take a look at this. So much coal, a bunch of zinc, bauxite, which I believe turns into cup. Aluminium grid, maybe. Uh, yes, aluminium. So this is aluminium essentially. We got iron, we got tin, lead, and osmium. Very, very cool indeed. And also, if you didn't notice in between episodes, I have decorated the place just a little bit, you know, just a little bit also inside of this space right here. Yep, looks a lot better. Also, these uh, the birch planks here for the flooring and the ceiling. I also installed some f uh, feral flare lanterns, one in here and one out there, so we could get rid of the ugly torch spam, which no one likes. No, let's let's be honest, no one likes torch spam. I also upgraded the cobblestone generator tier four, uh, the, the cobblestone generator up to tier four. I can't quite get it to cobblestone generator tier five just yet because I need molten diamond, and I need a, in order to get molten diamond. Diamond. I need blazing blood. I have also in between episodes washed a bunch of gravel and well uh, Not that chest. Yep. We basically now have three stacks and 15 diamonds <laughs> And a bunch of lapis and yeah, we're, we're not gonna run out of resources anytime soon At least I hope not. I also made this iron cleaver right here thanks to uh, Tinker's construct because we today are going to be going on an expedition towards that direction. If we take a look at the map here, I have dug all the way over here and we're going to be exploring at least some of this today. I'm very excited, don't know what's in there, but I'm also hoping to continue past this point all the way through and hopefully reach at least the nether so we can get some of those nether goodies. But before we do that, I have a problem. My inventories are an absolute mess, as you can see, and yeah, I want to solve that. And I have had a think uh, when it comes to storage solutions, and I've also looked at the recipes and whatnot, and I think refined storage, at least right now, is going to be the way to go. It's the simplest and it's the easiest to get started with. Um, a2 just has a bunch of steps and maybe we'll do it later, but for now, just to get something up and running, refined storage is going to be my pick. But in order to do that, I need to do some expansion with create, because I need to be able to use this machine right here. I need to make three, uh, two more deployers, and basically what we need to make are these advanced processors. Now they themselves are not an issue, but the raw advanced processor needs this sequence right here. And I think I can do it. I think I know how to do it, but first I want to expand our base here. So three, two, let, wait, let's, if I stand right here on this brick, there we go. Three, two, one. Yep, I would call this an expansion. Now, in order to fit the machine that I need to fit with Create, I am thinking I want I am thinking of making this room at least this big, maybe expand it even further in that direction, and then have Create on this side with a bunch of contraptions and whatnot, depending on how much we need to make, of course. But um, for the time being, I would like I think to expand in that direction so I can have all like the moving parts and whatnot further behind, so it's not out here taking up space. All right, this part is expanded. Now I need to go ahead and make some mechanical belts and I can make those from dried kelp and in order to get kelp I need to use a crook on sand there we go eight kelp so far so good 14 kelp I think I might need a little bit more by the way there are these uh, construction ones here which makes things like this a whole lot easier to do all right 25 kelp should be enough get them in there and cook all right, I have three mechanical belts. I'm pretty sure all I need to do is right click. I don't know what that particle means. Ah, uh, wait a minute, they're, they're turning in the wrong direction. This one needs to be turning together with that. Okay, how do I do that again? Okay, my bad. I don't even need this part right here. All I really need is a gearbox like this, turning in this direction. And then I think I can just do basically this and 
attached to that, and then this goes like so. And I'm pretty sure that if I take just for example, and set alloy and put it on there, it goes all the way over to the end, which is pretty awesome, which is exactly what we need. If I then go ahead and place this, okay, yeah, I need this to be a little bit longer. All right, here we go, five mechanical belts, just like so. We're gonna right click, oh, even I can go on the belt. I'm gonna, I think, maybe, I wonder if these are set already to, yep, export and import, import, okay. I think we are ever so slowly getting there. Now I just need to make two more of these deployers. All right, here we go, two deployers coming right up and we're just gonna put them just like, okay, not quite like so. We need to turn them around. I still have not figured out which way to, there we go. So one's there and then one's on that side. Okay, all right, and now it works. So over here for the cog wheels, this is my setup right here. This is going straight from the water wheels into a small one, into a big one, into a small one, and then into a big one again. And this is the perfect speed for these things. So I guess it's time to test this weird contraption. I'm currently cooking up some quartz, which will give us silicon. But before we can go ahead and test this, we need to make some process of binding, which we can make with string and then any kind of slime ball. I think I have a slime ball somewhere. If not, which it turns out I don't have, turns out we can actually make it. So over here in crafting, if we get some lime dye, which should be easy to get, we need to make some dough and we can get dough by combining a water bucket together with some wheat flour, which we get by putting a me uh, some, uh, some wheat in the milling machine right here. So that is what we are gonna be doing next. And for this, this is just gonna be a temporary, uh, temporary setup for right now. Gonna go ahead and do this system right here and I should have some wheat, yep. So if we toss that in there and grind away, we now have wheat, wheat flour I should say, perfect. And putting this green dye together with some white dye, we get lime dye and I just need my bucket, which is somewhere. This is why I need a storage system because I can't find anything in this. So if we put this together, we get dough, and I'm just gonna do this a couple of times. There we go, dough has been made, and then some green dye, and there we go, we got slime. And then we put this together with the string, and we have process of binding. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. I'm a bit scared, but here we go, I'm gonna put the diamonds in there, redstone in there, and silicon. Pretty sure that is the right way. Uh, no, it is not, we need silicon first, and then redstone. And if I then, let's start with one processor. Uh, that's not doing what I was thinking it was gonna do. Okay, I figured it out. The hand needs to be different. Currently, it needs to, it, it's like closed. This is what it needs to look like. So if we right click it once more, it, it's actually placing the redstone, which is not exactly what I want. There we go. Okay, so if I do that, they no longer move, which is perfect. And we got this incomplete raw pro uh, processor because I used this depot right here to test it. So if I drop that on there, it should stop right there, deploy the silicon, and then right there, deploy the redstone, and into the chest it goes, and we got a ad raw advanced processor. So if I go ahead and put maybe three more of those in, we got a conveyor belt going with working setup for making, oh, Oh dear, it's, oh no, uh, it's, it's run out, it's run out of resources, that's not good, not good at all, uh, deep, uh, uh, so back up, thank you, put this here, and then, there we go, okay, and there we go, four advanced processors, and this means with this setup right here, we can get started to get refined storage up and running. And for that, we don't really need too much. We need the controller, which for that we need advanced processor, which we just need to cook those right there. We also need a machine casting, which we need quartz enriched iron for. And that is pretty easy to make as well. And then of course silicon, which we can also easily get. We also need a disk drive, which we, yep, we got everything for that. And then a crafting grid which we need a grid for, and to make a grid, we need some more um, processors here. So improved processor is made from gold, silicon, and redstone. And if we go back and back again, 
We also need a destruction core with a basic processor like this. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to make all these things that we need. Everything is set up, so I just need to go ahead and craft it. And then I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to show some of the process. So first, I want to make the controller. So for that, I need to go ahead and cook up some quartz. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I need three. And then just need any stone and then some quartz enriched iron. But for that, I'm going to uh, take some iron here. Put it together like this. Other, other way, apparently. There we go. So that is eight for the machine casing right here. And then I need four more for the controller itself. And that is pretty much that. Then I need to go ahead and take these raw advanced uh, processors. Go away stone. Cook those up. We've got silicon right here. I think I can go ahead and make a machine casing now. If I go ahead and maybe get some stone. And decide, you know what, that works as well. Just like so. So that's the machine casing right there. And now I'm just missing one advanced processor. And boom! We have the refined storage controller. Next up, we need to make the disk drive. So that is another machine casing. All right. And with that, we can now make a disk drive. Next thing, of course, we need a crafting grid. And for that, we need the grid. So improved processor. And we need a basic processor as well. This is gold, silicon, and redstone. So I'm going to need more silicon. I might actually need more quartz in order to finish this process. Uh, but I, I, I can manage. I can manage. All right. So I'm going to take the diamonds out of this. And the redstone actually can stay right there, I think. Raw basic processor. So that is one silicon and one iron in here. Uh, I didn't want to... Do a filter. There we go. Put this here, put this here, and then drop one processor binding. And this should result in exactly what we need. Raw basic processor right there. And then we need, I believe it was two improved processors. So that is going to be two gold ingots, two silicon, and two redstone, which we are, of course, already got there. Put the silicon on, put the gold on, drop one. Drop two, drop two, there we go. <laughs> and that should be perfect. Now all I need to do is cook these up. Ah, hold on, I need a construction core. And for that, I need still another uh, basic processor. So I need to get some more quartz. Which, by the way, if you need a reminder how to get a bunch of soul sand, just get one soul sand, light it with soul fire, and then put some sand into that wind. And eventually it'll turn into soul sand, and then we can bulk wash it. And there we go, 18 more quartz, which is perfect, because we're going to need a lot more silicon than I thought. All right, and finally, we can go ahead and make the grid as soon as I have... Made more enriched iron. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but bear with me because I missed a step in this process. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and make the grid. Perfect. And we can get rid of this. And now we can go ahead and make the crafting grid. And boom, crafting grid. I think that was that. If we go ahead and take a look in the storage tab right here, we made the controller. A scroll sensor. No. No, that's not what I want right now. Yes, I think this is everything. Um, so we can go ahead and place... Where should we place this? I think I want the storage like over here somewhere. Maybe in, in the wall over here. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the controller above. Like this. Then place the disk drives here and the crafting grid here. I think... I think that is gonna work, but there are two more things that we're missing in order to get this to work, and that is one power and two disk drives, which is the first issue that we're going to address. We can make a bunch of different ones, but to begin with, I think we're going to be either sticking with 1K storage parts or 4K storage uh, disks. The 4K storage part is basically like this, so I essentially just need to make a bunch of these 1K storage parts, which is going to take a lot more silicon that I currently have in my disposal. So that is going to be something that I need to do. And when I've done it, I'll be right back and we can install some drives and generate some power. And then 
we're gonna go exploring. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure I have everything that we need in order to get these storage disks made. So let's get to it. So in order to make a 4K storage part, we need to make six 1K storage parts. I'm basically planning on making two 4K storage disks, as I think that is hopefully going to do the job. So if we go ahead and make six of these, which takes silicon, quartz, enriched iron, redstone and glass. So that's six of those. We can take those away. And if we then go ahead and make two of these, and then we go ahead and choose this recipe right here. That is then 4K or two 4K storage disks, which we can add right in there. All right, so now it is on to the second issue that we need to solve in order for us to use our brand new storage, and that is power generation. And it's actually pretty simple. I have planned this. Basically, we're going to be making a magma crucible, which can generate lava from cobblestone, which of course we have a cobblestone generator, so that is not a problem. I want an energy cell just to store some of the excess power, so that's gonna be cool. It should be pretty easy to make. And then the magmatic dynamo, which can generate power from lava. So this is basically going to be an infinite source of power. Don't know how efficient it's going to be, or rather how much power it's going to produce, but it should produce plenty for our needs. Aha, uh -huh, hold on. We have nether bricks with this recipe. I did not realize that. Uh, of course, that shouldn't be an issue because I'm planning to go to the nether area today after we've done this. However, yeah, it looks like the magma crucible is going to be the primary way of getting lava for us. So I think we're going to go ahead and make what we can here. So the magmatic dynamo, the, the energy cell and whatnot. And then it is finally time to go on our little adventure, which I'm really excited for. Um, I just need to go ahead and make a few of these, I'm pretty sure. I think I need like four. Yep, so I need a little bit of iron, restful flux coal, and all that good stuff. So here we go, magmatic dynamo, just like so. That is that, and then I need to look into these energy cells. Which the main ingredient is going to be dielectric paste, cobbles, uh, yeah, coal, a lava bucket, and some clay, which I should have all of it. Now here's a cool thing, I actually already got, depending on what chest we look at, I should have gotten like four, yep, there we go, four of these dielectric casings, which is pretty awesome. So all I need now is to go ahead and make some redstone blocks, which is kind of expensive for us at the moment, actually. We can also remove the machine frame from the list. And boom, I could go ahead and make, I think I need four in order to do this. And then, yep, there we go, basic energy cell. And it can hold basically 4 million FE, so that's actually not too bad for our current needs. Of course, I will also be needing some energy cables, which should be pretty easy to get my hands on. Just the starter ones is going to be sufficient. Need to make some of these rods and then make them. There we go, just a pack of those should be doable. That should be plenty for our needs. All right, I think it is time to adventure. However, not before I have actually gone ahead and made myself, 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 a proper diamond sword so that I can properly defend myself. I think with that, we are ready. There we go. I had one final slot in my, in my inventory or in my uh, storage. All right. I think it is time to go tunneling. Eventually, I'll probably want to set up some RF tools teleportation thing, but for now, Walking is not too bad, however, it is a bit of a trip. But there we go. Just gonna have to tunnel in this direction for a little bit, and we should have a head on collision with this tunnel right here. So we can go ahead and explore a little bit of this place, see what's up with it, and then hopefully continue on through on the other side to get to the nether area. I didn't bring torches. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, we have arrived in any second now. We're going to punch a hole through. I think anyway, unless we're about to go under <laughs> or over. I hmm. I think I have found it. This cobble right here. I don't know exactly when we're going to pop through. I'm going to assume. Yep, right there. Oh, boy. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here, but let's just dive headfirst in. Oh, that's a, that's a creeper. That's a creeper. Okay, that's uh, ooh, okay, that's spawners and whatnot. There's also witches. That's a problem. And poison. Okay, okay. I don't know what I got myself into here. I do not know what I've got myself into here. That's a lot of them. 
That's a lot of time. You know what? You know what? Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let us try something like that again. There's two witches up there that I need to take care of somehow. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna, there's two witches actually right here. But there's also two over here. So if I can get rid of these guys and then the zombies, maybe if I just light all this up, get rid of you. And I hear another witch nearby. Quickly eat and heal. Get rid of the spider first. Okay. Okay. I didn't. Oh, the source. I didn't quite know that this is what I got myself into. <laughs> oh, that's some. Oh, okay. What is that? I. Okay. Oh, that's a. Oh, skilled spider. I don't. Ow! Okay, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Man, those witches are nasty. I wonder if I'll be able to climb the water and take them out. There should be a witch up there somewhere. Together with the spider. Or maybe it's the spider that is... You know what? I'm just gonna keep going forward here. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. That's going to be what I do! Please die. Okay, that's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Okay, you know what? You you know what? You know what? I don't... I don't know if I am quite ready to face this. Shielding? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I want a skilled husk. Yeah, I don't know if I'm quite ready to face this. Gotta be honest here. This is, uh... Way more than what I had imagined this would be. I thought it would be some sort of dungeon. But... Didn't think it would be quite this kind of dungeon. I need to use this axe to get rid of it. Okay. That witch up there, whatever that is, is a real pain in the butt. That's a chest though. Uh, fire charge, probably seed, cool. Yep, yeah, I'll take it. Don't know what it is, but I'll take it. The chest too. So I know I've looted it. Okay, there's a skeleton there. You I can get rid of. Same with you. Okay. Keep placing torches as we go. There's a chest here. There's a witch. I can take care of you. Quite easily. Whoa! Two witches more. That's not good. And a phantom. Okay, and a pillager. Alright, that's... That's problematic. Yikes. Oh, hello. Uh, don't throw anything, just get up here. Yep, there we go. And punch you again. Get back up. Oh, that's not who I expected to be here. Oh, ow. Okay, yep. This is problematic. I keep getting my health this low due to witches and poison. <laughs> Look at my inventory, it's a mess. Okay, let's try moving up again. I did place some torches. There's a chest over here. Do we have anything? Oh, we do have stuff in the barrels. Okay, I don't... Actually, I will take the food for now. Because... Ooh, I will definitely take the honey as well. I'll definitely take the food because I am in need of better food than the berries while being in here. Ooh, dry kelp as well. Okay, the... That's some of the stuff that I actually do kind of need and want. Oh, boy. What? Did it... Is there a witch up there too? Oh, boy. Taste my iron cleaver! No head. I want a head. Oh, you're a you're a reflective zombie. That's not good. Ender pearl? I'll take it though. I think I just gotta be strategic here. Very strategic. Very very strategic. That was dead on. Whoa! You're gonna do a lot of damage. 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 <laughs> Don't you dare poison me. Oh boy. Back in my hole. Back in my hole I go. I got a common loot crate. Love right click to open, sneak right click to open all in hand. One compressed cobblestone. <laughs> well, I got two one compressed cobblestone. Okay. You know what? That, I won't complain though. Something is something. Okay, there's a chest room in there that I really, really want to get. 
If I can't just... Oh boy. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, two diamonds. A potato cannon. Okay. A music disc. Diamond boots. Curse of binding though. It does have fire protection. Oh, do I wear them? If I die, they disappear. Uh, do I wear them? That is a question. I don't know. No. No. I'm, I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate. I'm good. Okay, there clearly is a spawner over there that I need to disable. Otherwise, this is going to spawn an absolute ton of stuff. Ooh, I might die right here. I might. You know what? You know what? I think... Oh. Oh no, oh no, that's a Vindicator, that's a Vindicator, that's a windy Vindicator, Vindicator, Windy, Windy, uh, whatever that's called. Run, run, run. Yeah, I uh, I think I have a conclusion for this place. And it's actually quite simple. I am nowhere near ready to, 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 to tackle this place up here. I'm very excited for it though, cannot wait to do it, but for now... I think I'm just gonna keep going and uh, until I reach the caves and eventually the nether. But yeah, that up there, way harder than I had anticipated. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot better gear to tackle that. After a long time of mining later, look at what we have discovered. We have reached the cave area. I don't know if we're actually going to hit any, any of them, any of the tunnels uh, with our tunnel. They are, according to this, my tunnel is at y, uh, y level minus 2, and this cave system up here is at Y9. Some of it is at Y30, Y minus 41, so it changes here and there, so we may very well be hitting some of it, which would be kind of cool, but my main goal is to go to the nether ring, which I'm really happy this shows up, because the nether should start appearing probably over here somewhere. However, I have so far been digging this much. <laughs> it takes a lot longer than I expected to dig out this tunnel. Oh, we've hit something. Yep, we've hit some sort of cave path thing. However, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a dead end. Oh no, wait, I, I see monsters. I see a monster. It's a creeper. Please don't. Ow. That, um, that hurt quite a lot. What are you? I don't quite know. Oh, it's gonna be a mushroom from Botania, isn't it? What? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I have had enough encounters with you people. Ooh. What's that? You know what? I, I don't think I want to find out. I think I just want to stick to, uh, yeah, continue, continuing the the tunnel due to previous, um, pre previous experience. Now this is just annoying. The hammer doesn't work on the gravel. And I didn't bring a shovel. Uh. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. The nether is starting to corrupt the world over here, which means we are getting very, very close. This is very exciting. Ooh. Okay, a straight up open cave that's going to intersect with the tunnel. That can either be good or it can be bad, depending on what shows up here. There is, however, an Enderman right here, which I will terminate because I do want Ender Pearls if possible. So, sir, if you could please. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. So it appears I've hit a pretty interesting layer here, generated from Viridium from Create as well as Smooth Basalt. Quite interesting. I think we have just officially stepped into the nether region, which, by the way, also has these, um, dungeon thingy things. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, and my hammer broke. My hammer broke. No, we're not quite there yet. I wanted to make a full tunnel over. But you know what? 
judging from the sound, I would say that we are now there. And we are able to get what I came here for, which is the netherrack. Because that means I can now go ahead and make another brick. So, considering my hammer has broken, and we have officially stepped into the nether region, I'd say, pretty good success. In between episodes, I will be... Yeah, continuing the tunnel so we can actually visit the end in the next episode. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, in between episodes, because this tunnel took quite a while to do. However, I will definitely... Oh wow, that's a lot of it. I will definitely bring some more of this ver veridi viridium. Because I think it is super, super cool. And I want to build with it, potentially. Now all I gotta do is jump and run all the way back home, which... Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a journey. Ah. Much, much cozier and better. Back amongst the createness and the... Oh yes, power generation. Also, I should say that repairing, apparently, uh, repairing the hammer takes quite a lot of iron, but yeah, that's it's expensive. But anyways, now we are able to make the nether bricks. I'm pretty sure I put yep the nether rack in here. Imagine if I forgot the nether rack. That would be that would be pretty bad, but there we go. All right, and here we go. Magma crucible has been crafted. So now all we got to do is basically hook up the power generation system, which I think I'm going to do from back here. Gonna make a little bit of a power generation room. Alright, so we're going to place the cobblestone generator tier 2 right here with the magma crucible on top because that means I will be able to set auto input enabled and auto output enabled and have input from the bottom because the cobblestone, cobblestone generator outputs at the top automatically. Then what I can do is say I output to the right which is then where I can install the magmatic dynamo, which is going to then receive the lava, which should automatically get the lava from this because automatic output has been enabled. We can then put that power directly into our energy cell, which is going to get filled up eventually, and then we can drag a power cable up here all the way over to our controller and if we right click our controller we can see the blocks that it can interact with which is the disk drive and the crafting grid which is perfect now that's just one slight thing that i didn't think about and that is that the magma crucible also requires power and the magmatic dynamo can only produce 40 rf a tick and i think this thing has its max use at 80 rf per tick I may have made a little bit of a calculation mistake here. I might be able to salvage this, potentially. So if I add a fluid pipe here from pipes, of course, gonna set this to output, and then we place some magmatic dynamos onto here, and then of course, energy cables up here, and then connect it like so, get rid of this old cabling. Now I've made, I went ahead and made a sterling dynamo, which I'm going to face into the magma crucible. And I'm gonna do this leading. Actually, we're gonna make this look a little bit prettier, like so. Hopefully, by having three, we should be generating enough power to feed into the controller, but also the magma crucible in general, generating more power than we're consuming. But I don't know if this thing will be able to keep up with all the magmatic dynamos. Time will tell, so I basically just need to grab a stack of coal from over here, which I'll get plenty of, by the way, from the crusher. So even if this doesn't work, we can just put this directly into this and it'll be fine for now. But doing this should generate power for this to work. Um, wow, that thing is not generating enough power for this to work properly. All right, another Sterling Dynamo later. Place this here, and that should provide stable power for this to work. Oh, but my, is it slow. I thought it would be like this quick, but wow, clearly not. Lesson learned. This is not a viable solution. I am just gonna casually take this down again, and I ju I'll, I'll just have to, actually, I just need one. I'm pretty sure I'll just need one. Clubber hover on top of it, 
boom, that should fill it up with coal. Output is at 100%. The controller is active. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the thing with the magmatic dynamo, uh, mag magma crucible, which is good to know. But the big moment has arrived because our storage system is now up and running. However, I want the door. So let's install this. There we go. Maintenance door and let's access our storage. So I should be able to just dump everything in. Yeah, pretty sure that's how that works. And this is our, it's 1% full at the moment. So if I just go ahead and take all of this junk, add it all in there, I'm gonna actually do that. So I can just do it like this. And just like that, our couple store chests have been emptied and we have only filled this to 18%. And there we go, these have now been emptied as well, which means we can add those to the system. One drive is currently full and one other drive is half full. So I'll probably make some more 4K storage disks in between episodes just so we are not going to run out of space anytime soon. So guys, with all that done and said, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Because in the next episode, we will be going to the end. I will be making the tunnel. Maybe we will be taking a look at RF Tools teleportation if that is in the pack. I will assume that it is. Yep, these right here, matter transmitter. I'm pretty sure those are the ones, so we can actually teleport to the nether area and the end area right here from our base. That would be pretty cool. I'll also take a look at a uh, better power generation setup. And yeah, it, it's, it's going to be an exci exciting episode. But yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. <laughs> Bye.